Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 14 of Let's Play Factorio, and today we're going to start putting in electric furnaces in. I just made a whole pile of them, and uh, they're nothing special, just advanced circuits, etc. But we should have enough to uh, be able to fill up in here and uh, get rid of some of the old stuff that we've had here for quite a while. Um, I thought it would just be nice, period. So that's what we're going to work on anyway. So we can bring this down to like here, literally. Maybe something like this. And then, oh, well, maybe we need to get close enough so we can place it, but there you go. And then we just need to give it some power. Like how there's just no power in between, there you go. And that's not even close enough. There you go. And then, uh, yeah, logistics, and then, yeah. So this is going to be a bit of a mess. Uh, I think the best thing to do is to cut off the line. Oh! Yeah, we're using construction bots here. That's fine. I think the best thing to do is just cut this line here. And then it'll consume and do its thing. And then maybe we should consume a bunch of it or something like that. Clear out the belt a bit. It's better than trying to have to take it all out, you know. Could always use these guys for something. We could do... Oh, I know what we could build. Ha! <laughs> um... Pull a bunch of these guys. Oh, we're going into... that territory. But anyway, so I'll consume and use some of that. And then, uh... Yeah. We can always do with some more steel, etc, etc. So basically, we're just going to try to replace all our furnaces today. Because we're going to slowly start working on doing solar panels, I think. That's something I wanted to do for a while. And yeah, this is a good way to get started. You can see most of my research is even getting completed now. Um, which I'm really happy about. Uh, so, unfortunately, there's a bunch of rocket things here. Ah, I wish there wasn't. Uh, crafting speed. Hand crafting speed. It's a decent thing, to be honest, but... This one, this is like overpowered bullets. I might have to remove that. I didn't realize it was like 900 health. It's supposed to be like expensive bullets, but meant so you don't have to do robots every time. I don't know how I think feel about that now, though. Um, follower count, uh, gun turret damage, I guess. That's always, you know, important. So I had to fill this up again, so it's on its next 500. But I have another 500 in a chest. And this actually filled up really well. When I was sleeping, somebody logged on for like five hours, so that ended up going through all of its, uh, oh, buffering it all up. And then I, I basically just made a bunch of, uh, I was eating, I was making just some efficiency and some production modules, etc, etc. So, either way, let's go down here and start working on this. So we're going to clear all this out. Hopefully, does this spit them all out? Yeah, I think so. Most of them, anyways. Oh, this side is kind of full still. I guess we'll just have to do this by hand. There you go. Oh, they have iron plates in them, even though you don't... Hmm, okay. We got them. So, what we're going to do oh, here... Oh, plants are opposite. Damn it. That sucks. What we're going to do here is... I don't know what I want to do here yet. I know I'm going to have to take out this entire line, actually. All this coal as well. So let's go like this for now. And just take out all this right here. Now they'll also take all the coal off, and it'll get a bit annoying because they want to take all the coal off. So if you want to be helpful, help them take out the resources that it has. Now there's resources in each of the furnaces as well that it'll end up taking out, so. It'll be a bit of a mess, but uh, it'll work out. There you go. Keep a couple on myself for later uses. I'm just recording, by the way, but you can talk in as much as you want. Okay. So. Just don't talk about your hatred for other races right now. Funny guy. The robotic race? The robotic. Oh, 
It's funny because uh, that's what I'm playing right now. There's 50 of them just devouring my... And it's gone. So I just told them to destroy or disassemble my entire uh, mining facility. Or not mining facility, the refinery facility. Because I'm redoing it now. There we go. So you can start wherever you want to start. I guess this is where I started over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I want to go further than that, of course. Ah. Uh, here we go. <laughs> so the guy could get only to 21 today. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 1, 2, 3, 4. 24, there you go. And I feel like you could even go further up. It sounds like each belt, it went up 10 or so. I don't know. It's not like it went up decent amount these days, but that should be good. Now, was this on the wrong side? Oh no, it's perfect. So we're still putting our stuff on the outside belts, right? So we can go and uh, you can also do this, by the way, if you really want to. You can shift click it and they'll place the ones that we have in all the chests, right? Of course, that might be a bad idea because I don't think we've ever had these on there. So now the bots are like, buddy, you've never even given us fast inserters before. Why would you ask for such a thing? Um, where is the stuff here? So you can throw some fast inserters here quickly. And then we should take out the old inserters here. There you go. So when we create more fast inserters, we're just converting the other ones over. There you go. Anyways, uh, and then same thing over here, of course. Oops. for the ore. There you go. Oh, maybe we should get a little further, huh? I guess this should go all the way up, huh? Is it locked up? Yeah, yeah, it is. Just want to make sure it's not going to cause any kind of headaches. I keep getting the oh because my butt was in the way I like these had an upgrade or change the, the graphics a bit the f you know, electric furnaces maybe not it seems something different it seems something different or so Okay. Yeah, don't you hate these things? You could do these sub things or whatever, but I, I wouldn't bother. Okay, it's kind of. I was like, is that not even working?
really need more of these guys. There we go. So that does a pretty good damn job. Okay, so, uh, what do we have over here? Oh, we can modify all this over here anyways. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing over here, I guess, for the bots. Uh, I guess we'll just tell them, go crazy, disassemble this entire thing here. Even up here, I guess. All the way down here. There you go. But we can help take out at least some of this stuff, like the copper out of here. It doesn't have to carry a hundred of them. Because they're not smart enough for that, really. Got some charging up. Ha! Huh. It's like, oh, they ran away on me. You know, this is a charger, too. We'll stop buying that one when they need extra charges, you'll see. As I think they would. Oh yeah, they're there. Okay, and then... I guess we want to strip down the middle here too. We're going to basically strip this all the way up the same as the uh, iron one. Because we're going to literally basically do the same thing as the iron, so... We should actually blueprint that, too. So we'll make a new blueprint. And uh, we'll copy what the iron provides. At least try. There you go. I don't know how I feel about old, uh, oh, it's because it's on the outskirt there, that's why. So I don't know how I felt about old telephone poles, but it's not that bad at all. There you go. And we just do the exact same thing right over here. Except it's still taking out these turrets and stuff. Oh, there's a chest full of iron. Er, sorry, copper. It would be a bit of a problem, wouldn't it? Do the faster underground belts have longer distance that they can travel? Um, the faster? I don't think so. No, I don't think they have any distance okay. on them. Uh, I need to get iron plates to my oil processing place. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine, yeah. Mine's just a big mile-long belt that goes all the way there. It goes like, yeah. all the way to the top and... All At the this way point, right. I'm thinking if if I knew about this, I could have started with thinking more with trains in mind and just yeah. deliver everything with trains, the big stuff. Well, but... that's the thing. Once you get up there, right, you start doing well, and if you're really having fun with the trains, there's nothing stopping you from making a brand new uh, base. One thing I'm doing is I just rip down all my furnaces. I have no furnaces yeah. in my base. I just, just devoured the whole thing. But because now I have bots and you, you, I have quite a few of them, I can use bonds to do that. Then I make the one furnace, so I made the iron furnace set up. Yep. And now I'm literally making a blueprint and copying and pasting it onto the right for the copper one, and they'll assemble it all for me. Nice. So, like, later on, that's kind of, like, your choices that you can do. feeling we need more blue everything here. Am I out of copper? I love this music. <laughs> <laughs> Brings tears to my eyes. Oh no 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 no. Me no circuits. Damn it, I made some. We'll just let them process those ones then. Oops, I guess that was bringing my main power up here. <laughs> Doot. 
do. And then, oh yeah, they need some of these guys at least, a few. Screw it, I'm just gonna make a new line. <laughs> right from war. Too much crap in the way. Sounds good. One miner should be enough. Yeah, I don't think it uses that much. Yeah, but... I'm just thinking, like, just one miner, one furnace should be more than enough for this for this run. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guess since we have this all the way up here, we should do the same with this. No. I guess I could have used them all. That makes me sad, actually. Even though that doesn't matter, it's just the annoyance of seeing it made me annoyed. It's annoyed me by making me view it. There you go. Now we have, I made a bunch of efficiency modules which kill the consumption rate of the things by basically 60%, which is a lot. It's up to you if you want to use them, but uh, you might as well. They're dirt cheap to make the low-level ones anyways. You might as well do the same over here, kind of like cut it off, off, off the lower ones anyways. So this uses 180 right now, now it uses 72. There you go. Slightly higher? I don't know. But you can make more. I need to automate these. That's how I've been doing them. <laughs> when I go and take a break or something, I just craft a few in my inventory. But that, my friends, fixes that all up. Now, we still have power issues up here, probably. Okay, time to do stupid weapon research, because that's the only thing left. <laughs> hey, hey, don't say stupid. Those spiders might, uh... Who needs a flamethrower? <laughs> that's true. Maybe not a flamethrower. But it sounds cool, doesn't it? I guess. Not bad, not bad. At this point, we probably can't even, you'd have to have blue belts to really get it going. But it's, it's, going, it's not using it all or consuming it all anyways right now. Mining drill right into steel furnace. <laughs> Who needs a middleman? Okay, I say that's pretty good there.
So yeah, I guess the next stuff I would like to get is things like power armor. Now the power armor, this is basic module armor. I never make this one really. But you got the one and two here. I always try to go for the two. Or yeah, MK2. And it's a little expensive because it requires blue chips. We haven't even made one single blue chip yet. Which is a bit of an embarrassment because those are kind of important. Um, so we should probably start working on it. Basically it requires red chips and a crap ton of green chips. So it's not a horrible recipe, it's just a damn expensive recipe. And um, we do have a good red chip factory going on here. Or line. And I think everything is at the point where it's... It, it, I mean these consume quite a bit still, but I think we could make it. So we could start devouring off this line. I'd probably devour off this over here, actually. Uh, so let's try this. Um, blue. So it requires our favorite sulfuric acid. Yep. Unfortunately, we have to bring sulfuric acid all the way here. Wait till later, Electro, when you need um, blue chips, and you you know your chip factory is a mile away. <laughs> Except it requires it requires. 20 green circuits and like, uh, let's see here, 20 green circuits and two advanced circuits, but the biggest annoyance out of it, it requires sulfuric acid. So that means you got to, <laughs> yeah, so more pipes 100 miles away through my base. Actually, maybe we'll do something different. Maybe we'll do sulfur. Nah, I don't want robots flying a mile away, that, that's boring. Yeah, we're just gonna have to bring in pipes over here, I guess. So let's start working on our pipes. There you go. There you go, something like that. But you probably should start over here. That way, it doesn't matter where it's on that side, but it does matter where it is over here right now, doesn't it? So, I see somewhere like around here. I'm assuming we still can't drag and. Oh, God. No, we can't. Oh, it's in my way. At least they're pretty long, so you can work with your confined areas. Okay, and I guess somewhere down here. There you go. We oh look at we made too many underground pipes now. <laughs> oh well. There you go. There you go. Sulfuric acid.
have to decide how or where I'm going to do this. You end up wanting quite a few of these over time for your information, but it's up to you where you want to do it. Shit. My pollution is those big squares. It's probably about three or four away from the biter nest. Ooh, nice. Means you might have to do something with them. If you yeah. place enough turrets on the side where they're going to come from, they they'll, they'll be fine. They're okay. actually not. It's not like the. It's like you know the end of the world. You know they send in like helicopters and jets and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I figured as much. What am I doing here? Oh yeah, blue. Something like this. I like to space these out as far as possible, which is works to be there. There you go. There you go. And um yeah, sulfuric acid in these. Must not be a lot because the pipes are a little low right now, but that's fine. And then what we'll probably do is renovate this here. For now. To like over here. Ta-da. And then we can start stealing them off the belts here, here, and here. Then we're going to need the green ones, which this is when we'll do underground belts, etc. I'm thinking of just running them through like this. Yeah. We have, uh, probably not. Okay, so... Actually... Let's just run this first. It's probably not going to be quite where I wanted it, so might as well do this. Where are ya? Where are ya? There you go. And then a bunch of those red guys that we left all a whole bunch of these, but we left them in the other thing. Oh well, there you go. Green circuits, green circuits. Ooh, you know what? You're gonna do this instead. It takes a while, but it's not like you probably need to do that, but. There you go. I think they could keep up to it. So they're there if you like put speed upgrades and all that other stuff. And then we need a new line over here somewhere for now. Where we take it and well, we'll just dump it into a chest for now, but later on we'll definitely want to put it somewhere. Do other machines, whatnot, that might happen off camera, who knows. And then we'll grab these guys off here. Chris and I link up to the only one that doesn't have a dark acid. That's uh, liquid or uh, yeah, salt? the the one you sulfuric acid is liquid. The and then there's okay. sulfur before that, which is a solid. Yeah. And then you take I think the two and maybe some iron or something or and then make the sulfuric acid. Like I've got the sulfuric acid. I'm just wondering what form it comes out in. Yeah, yeah, liquid. Okay. What do I need it for primarily at this stage? Uh, plastic, I think it was. Or batteries, batteries maybe. Batteries, yeah, batteries. Batteries. And then later on, blue circuits, which are big, like they're important and expensive as hell. So I can just feed it into an assembly plant, or no, a uh, chemical reactor, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. We'll see you wonderful people next time.